Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the term ICT, what it stands for, how we can define ICT and the ICT devices we are actually surrounded with. ICT, uh, I think living in this century, uh, most of us know what ICT means and ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. But what's the basic definition of ICT is that the information and communication technology is actually a diverse set of technological tools and resources and these technological tools and resources are used to perform four basic functions that is to store, to create, manage and communicate information. So it is a platform where we can do all these four things communicate, create, manage, store information and uh, the tools and resources that, that are helping us do so are included in ICT devices and in everyday life we are surrounded by ICT devices. Uh, information and communication technology is not just uh, is not just involved in your PCs or in your phone, it is actually a full range of applications and devices that plays a role in digital communication ranging from monitors and cell phones to PCs and storage devices to anything that are using that has a small microprocessor in them. What is a microprocessor we'll discuss uh, in detail afterwards. It also includes all different applications that enable us the sharing uh, or the use of information for example email and online services and video games, online video games, as well as hardware and software needed to operate the networks that transmit the information from smallest home office, for example, you can say to the largest global networks. And uh, in order to do so, we have actually surrounded ourselves with the ICT devices. We use them every day without even realizing how important they have become to carry out our daily routine. Let's say, let's just consider an example. So when an alarm clock wakes you up, you leap out of the bed and you head towards the kitchen where you plug in the toaster or a coffee maker after, you know, uh, in order to make your breakfast and after using your electric toothbrush, uh, showering and dressing up, you put a glass of milk in the microwave and then you pick up the TV controller and turn the TV on to catch the latest news or weather, uh, you know, forecast. Later you go out and you know you sit in the car in order to go to the office or school and stopping at a traffic light you turn the music player on inside your car or you're just uh, checking the GPS in your car. So this is a series of things that you are doing in your morning and we have not turned on any computer or you are not actually using your phone. But do you think we are using any ICT devices in this whole set of steps that uh, from getting ready to uh, sitting in the car? Are we using any ICT devices? Let's take a moment and think about it. How many ICT devices we have used in this example? So moving forward in the above given example, we can see that we have used a couple of ICT devices while we're not using our PCs or phone or laptops but still uh, from getting up to getting ready and reaching school or office we are using many ICT devices without even realizing it. So I'll give you the name of the ICT devices and we'll see if you were able to guess them correctly or not. So uh, an alarm clock is waking you up that's using an ICT device uh, that is an ICT device because it's telling you the time and it's storing the data and the information so it's an ICT device. Then there's a toaster, electric toaster or a coffee maker that you are using to uh, make your breakfast. Then you're using electric toothbrush, then you're using microwave uh, for you know uh, heating up the glass of milk which uh, which is again an uh, ICT device. TV remote which actually uses the signals to turn the TV on and then TV is a big example of ICT device because we are actually listening to the news or weather forecast uh, with the help of because the satellites are broadcasting the, these news to our TV and we are able to watch them sitting on our sofas. Then there's car which is using GPS and all those technologies. Then there's traffic light, the music player in the car. So these are the set of like uh, ICT devices that we are using before even stepping foot in our school or in our office 
um, just to get ready and to reach there. So how many were you were able to guess? You can compare your answer and let's see if you were able to guess uh, all of them or not.